let's talk about three of the deadliest and most aggressive African cichlids. What's going on YouTube? This is Paul the Inventory King. Hope everyone is doing well. So we're gonna talk about three of the deadliest African cichlids that we've ever kept. I have two guests joining me today, Ben Ochart and IFG Evan Alexander. In the description down below, there's gonna be links to their channel. So when the video's over, head on over to their channels, hit their subscribe buttons. So Ben, what are your three most aggressive fish ever? Hey Paul, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for including me in this uh, collaboration. And I think your question is the three fish that have posed the biggest amount of problem for me uh, or been the most violent, uh, the three biggest jerk fish that I've had. And uh, the first I think I can think of is a fish that I really, I really love this fish, uh, a, um, a Nimochromis uh, venusus, a giraffe hap, there's a common name sometimes, and a gorgeous fish, uh, had them in the 60 gallon. I figured I'd have them in there for a year or two and then I'd, then I'd upgrade to a bigger tank. Well, in six to nine months, he he uh, he was up over five inches, uh, very thick, uh, a bright blue face, and uh, just proceeded to dominate everybody. He would keep all the other fish corralled in a corner, and he essentially claimed the entire 60 gallon as his territory. So I had another, I guess, about another 10 fish in there, and uh, they were under severe stress. Uh, that one's on me. I mean, I should never had a, a Venusis in a 60. Uh, and certainly I should have had the upgrade tank ready, but I ended up um, uh, selling him to somebody off of Craigslist uh, who put him into a 300 gallon. So he's uh, he ended up uh, doing okay. And uh, but boy, that was a pretty fish. And I hated to let him go, but uh, it was either that or he was going to destroy everybody in the tank. Uh, the other fish is uh, back in the day when I had used to have a mixed tank it was a uh, Mapanga, a Pseudotrophius Mapanga, uh, a beautiful uh, Buna. Uh, fish, uh, but again, grew very, very quickly, outgrew everybody else, uh, put on size very, very quickly, became a very thick, uh, very thick torpedo of a fish, uh, very big head, uh, uh, kind of an armored, big armored head, and uh, kind of a purple and with orange, and uh, just a gorgeous fish. You can see him in some of my earlier videos. And uh, But when, when it was feeding time, nobody else could eat. Uh, he would just simply clear out the space and keep everybody at the edges. And uh, very often he wouldn't even eat because he was just so intent on making sure nobody else could eat. So he had to go. And uh, I think I gave him away at the uh, local fish store. I just took him down the street and, and gave him away to somebody. Um, the other one is uh, a Lawanda. I had a, uh, a fish called Lawanda. <laughs> and this fish uh, was a um, kind of a bluish purple and again you can see him in my in my videos with a um, orange yellow tinge to his dorsal fin just an absolute gorgeous fish but very very aggressive and uh, it was the kind of aggression that that was uh, relentless the Venusus if everybody stayed in the corners and stayed out of his way he was all right um, the Mapanga was mostly during feeding uh, but the Lawanda was uh, non-stop so I couldn't even sit and enjoy the tank because he would constantly be uh, hitting fish and, and uh, uh, moving fish into corners and he kept everybody in a state of uh, agitation and stress including me so uh, unfortunately again I had to take that beautiful fish and rehome him so um, those are three fish that I've, that I've had that um, turned out to be absolute jerks uh, in all three cases very beautiful fish uh, very dominant and maybe that was also why they were so colorful uh, very dominant but uh, had to be you know for the for the greater good I had to get rid of them uh, right now I have a very peaceful situation in this tank and the other two that I have uh, and uh, as all cichlid owners know we keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope that doesn't change because of course it can all right thank you so much Paul for uh, including me in the collaboration and as always very appreciated and uh, Happy New Year to you, my friend, and to all the viewers. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate you sharing that with us. What's interesting is you had one of each. You had a Hap, a Peacock, and an Mbuna, which shows that 
African cichlids are aggressive in general. Definitely appreciate you sharing. And uh, thanks again, man. So IFG, talk to us. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for the spot, Paul. Always an honor to be on your channel. So today, Paul wants us to talk about aggression. Three fish that we have had aggression issues with. One of those fish is going to be an erratus. I had this fish maybe, let's say, uh, seven or eight years ago, and these guys were really jerks. Um, also, OB Peacock would come in second place. Uh, this was not too long ago, maybe four or five years ago. I had a couple of OB Peacocks in my aquarium, and those guys were, man, they were insane. Really, really hard to keep up with, really aggressive, um, causing trouble in the tank. So that's the Aratus, and that's the OB Peacock. Now, the third fish that I had aggression issues with was my Venustas. I don't know how long you've been subbed to my channel, but if you've been subbed to me for a while, I've made several videos covering the aggression issues that I had with my Venusta cichlid. This was um, a big guy, beautiful fish, but he was really, really aggressive, and he was causing major havoc in the aquarium. I would always have to take him out, rehome him, change up the rocks, and things of that nature. All right, guys, so those are my three fish that I had aggression issues with. And again, Paul, thanks for the spot, man. Peace. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you sharing as well. And uh, Aratus are one of the nastiest in Boone I've ever seen. OBs are bad. And like Ben, the Venustus, uh, definitely an aggressive hap. Uh, so again, thanks for sharing your three uh, of the deadliest and most aggressive fish you've ever had. So my three, my three most deadliest and aggressive African cichlids are all haps. My first one is going to be the Nimbochromus linny. This guy, at one point, he put on some size and color, and in this predator tank here, he wouldn't let any fish come on this side of the tank I believe it was they were all over there it was absolutely insane he just would not let them always on fire um, and was causing problems for me number two is going to be the Nimbochromus Fusco Taniatus also known as the Fusco same thing when I put on some size and color it became nasty and I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I could not keep him. I had to rehome him. And, um, you know, they're a beautiful fish, but sadly I just couldn't do it. It was, he was too aggressive. And then the last one is gonna be the Buchochromus lepturus green. Now I've only had these fish for a short amount of time, but when I go and check the fish out, the male in the tank is always trying to pick some kind of fight with the other ones. You know, they swim by each other, he'll flare up and go and nip at them. He's always trying to do something. Um, so far so good, but he is without a doubt one of the most aggressive fish I've ever owned. So there you go, you have three from Ben, three from IFG, and three from myself. What's interesting is we all had Nimbochromus on our list. They are one of the most aggressive and deadly fish. They're predators in Lake Malawi. So by nature, they are just aggressive. And again, all African cichlids have aggression. Um, it just depends on the environment that they're in, which ones are gonna step up. These were our three. So in the comment section down below, let us know what three have been the most aggressive and deadly in your aquariums for the fish you've kept. List three down below. Be very interested to see if there's any patterns here. Uh, if you could like the video, would definitely like that. And again, in the description is Ben's channel and IFG's channel. Head on over there. Please subscribe to them. And again, Ben and IFG, I appreciate you guys coming in, coming onto my channel and doing this collaboration with me. Uh, super awesome, you guys. Thank you so much. And everyone, stay tanked.